throttle up. Discovery, go at 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 throttle up. Hello. What's going on? How's everybody doing? Happy Friday. This is the last stream before vacation for me. Before I'm gone for seven days. 
What will you do without me? What will I do without you? Oh, God. I don't like that at all. No. <laughs> no. Happy Zornanzorzor -Zor Day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait for you to get back. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to buy a pack of smokes. I I'll be right back. How's everybody doing? Nice. Okay, Tess, I see you over there in YouTube chat. Seven days without EJ? Finally, yeah, I know. I, dude, if it was me, I'd see it and I'd get annoyed with me, too. I don't blame you. We got your VODs to watch. You ain't got ours. Oh, God, that's kind of sad. It's kind of sad, man. So, um, yeah, I've been trying to get uh, normie stuff done before we, Bree and I, go off on vacation. So, yeah, I apologize for being late pretty much every day this week. I'm just, yeah, a lot of trips up into the city, a lot of, a lot of stuff that needed to get done. You know, if you're an adult, you know, just, it's just stuff. It's like, oh, you got to be here at this time to do this. So, you know, Oh, boy. I wish, Dak. No, that's where I wanted to go. But uh, we wanted to go to Europe. So we're going to go to Europe for a little while. Yep, James, you're fine. Right on, man. It's good to see you. Thank James, thanks for being there on the YouTube videos, man, by the way. Uh, I see. Uh, trust me, I haven't forgotten about you over there. I see the chat. Uh, I do appreciate it, man. Uh, you're helping me... Uh, Hopefully get those YouTube streams some traction. No at you know, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. But anyway, I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. Uh, Tamazari, hey, how are you? Hey, Soonti with the 76 monthly seven sewer rat gifted five subs at the beginning of the stream. Also, so you see this. No, no, no. All I see is rocks. Yeah, yeah, I have it. I figure we'll get it in, you know, before... I don't want to have this conversation anymore. How do I become relevant again? Actually, yes, I thought about uh, I thought about the question that you asked. I don't know how to become relevant again. Um, here, uh, I have to type something back to you. I thought about it in here. Discovery, go at throttle up. Yeah, as hopefully that helps. Where are you going at? Uh, yeah, Chief, I don't want to say. Just, just say Europe. Somewhere sunny. If it was Greece, I would tell you. Seriously, I'm, I'm not even kidding about that. Oh, yeah, here's what you saw yesterday. Oh, there was another sub in there from Newell. Thank you very much for the 17 months. Watch it be rain all week. All right, what do you got for me, serious banana? Ooh, a Mura. Mmm. Joe Macari's Mura. Hey, oh, what's going on? Hey, how you doing? That's a nice car, man. Oh, frick that car. I want that car. Give me that one. Now nah, screw those ones in the back. I want this one. One that says Brummel on it. I don't know why you put stickers on it and ruined it, but hey, whatever. Oh. Never mind, the stickers are okay. So did you think more about the factory automation last night? Uh, I actually... I actually had that meeting, so I was thinking about that. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll tackle it today. We'll figure it out. You want the Bentley? Yeah, I want this. I want the F40. Oh. 
Now that's now that's a car. Yeah. That doesn't do anything for me. Wide open tailpipes. Sort of random, but I thought you might like this. USAF salvages a new stealth fighter from two wrecked jets. Oh, huh. Oh, yeah. Grafting pieces of F-35 together. Yeah, that's a thing. Okay, what else we got? You know what, dudes? The Val It's an Aston Martin Valkyrie. It's cool. Doesn't do anything for me. Nothing. This the Discovery. I Go respect throttle. it. I respect it. It's a sweet car. Doesn't do anything for me. Even if I had like Elon money, I still wouldn't buy this. Hey, metric tier 373. It's cool. Like I love it. That's awesome. It's a sweet car. It's awesome. Like the you know, you know how long it probably took to get all the aerodynamic analysis done on all these parts? Like, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful piece of machinery. I would never, ever. It doesn't do anything for me. Dude, even a LaFerrari like that still doesn't do anything for me. Like, uh, yeah, all right. It doesn't. It doesn't. Doesn't do any doing anything for me. That 2002 BMW CSL over there. Now we're talking. That's cool. 300 SL. The 300 SL uh, Cabrio. Now we're talking. That 550 Maranello, or it could be a 575. Now we're talking. That Porsche, original 911 air cooled with the duck bill spoiler. Now we're talking. Those are cool. I like those cars. It's like. I think beside the can't afford, don't care position, if, if I recall correctly, you've never run laps in anger on a road course. Yeah, no, no, I get it. I get it. Don't get me wrong. I get it. Like, it's not, it's not like, dude, I mean, that's why I said, even if I had money, I still, this would not be on my radar. I, these are not the types of cars I would buy to drive around on the street. I'm very, I very much agree with James May. Now, that's the context of this conversation, now, isn't it? What is your favorite hyper supercar? The F40. F40 by a long shot. Hey, Snow, what's going on? Now, buying one of these for the track? Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're, remember, we're talking about this. Like, somebody drove this to this auto show. I mean, either that or it was trailered. Like, that, that car is wicked. Can't make those marks without Posse, which is not available on the 64th Skylock. Yeah, that doesn't... Yeah, the F40 you could, and that's why I like it. That's why I think it's cool. I mean, there's a... It's either a 4... Eh, it's probably a 488. But that, I mean, dude, that, like, for the track? Yeah, I would have track cars, but I wouldn't drive them on the street. I get... Yeah, that's what, that's what I mean about these cars doing nothing for me. The LaFerrari is a race car. So is these... So are these... Whatever whatever that is. A four, 488 FXX or whatever. Like this, this 458 or four, just a 488 street car. That that's kind of cool, but I'm not. Eh. Conic eggs don't do it for me in any way in this regard. This car is good for a racetrack. It it's not very good at anything else. Like, I don't know. I, I'm with James May on this one. Not every car needs to be a Euro spec touring car. I hate I hate it that cars are like that. I just want to just want a comfortable ride. And I want to be able to go fast, but not like, not 200 miles an hour fast. What the heck? I mean, like, all right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that does nothing for me. They're awesome cars and I respect the engineering. Absolutely. But that does, that, that does nothing for me. Nope. Nothing.
All right. Another hypercar that looks like every other hypercar. Okay. Uh, see, here we go. Now we're talking. But even that. That's... I, I don't know, man. Like, you know, this probably isn't the fastest race car, but you could probably drive that on the street. But look at the... Dude, look at the dish. Oh, wide body. Wide body Porsche. Mm. Yeah, I don't hate that. I'd drive that. That's cool. I like that. I absolutely love the Hura, and that's... Love the Hura is that it was built to be a monster with manners. Mm. That thing is scary to drive fast. Oh. Whoa. That's cool. That's that's a cool car. I like that. See, I like I like these. Now we're talking. I like these two. That's cool. I don't think that's a 959. I think these are just Porsches with a with some type of wide body kits on it. I'm not the biggest Porsche guy. I don't know. But that's dude, that's crazy. Now, with all that being said, I drive that car on the street. Sure. Kuntash Kuntash S. Mm. Yeah, I'd drive that on the street. It It's a terrible car. It, it handles arguably awful in every respect, but... <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. What is this? I don't know what this is. Maybe a Testarossa? It, it, it could be a Testarossa, but I'm not sure because Testarossas, to my knowledge, didn't have these. What the hell is this thing? Wide body 512. Dude, you have to be a special type of melon farmer to drive this thing around. That's cool, but yeah. Nah. I'd be too afraid to park it up a tree. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Oh, hello. The fitment on that wheel, though, is a little weird. What's that thing, guys? This one, D DFGS. What's that car? That's a cool car. I don't know what it is, though. It's next to what looks like a Rolls Royce. No, not the mirror, the, the blue one behind it. It's a Lambo 3500. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, I like that. Mm. The, the headlights are kind of weird. Kind of looks like an Alpine or something. But yeah, that's, that's not bad. It's not a bad car. That's not a Lamborghini 3500. That's a 250. Yeah. Nice nice car series. Thanks for showing. Anyway. Oh, there's that. That would be a great Sunday car. Yeah. I like Hellfish. I like Grand Touring cars. Like, not... Not like driving around in a Hura or a Ferrari 458. That's not a grand touring car. I like, think like Jensen Interceptor. That's a touring car. Or Ferrari 250. Or that 3500 Lambo. I like cars like that. Those are cool cars. Those cars, those are the, that's the type of car that, you know, just a comfortable ride. You can drive it. It's a cool two-door car. It's a little bit sporty. You can take it wherever. I like cars like that. And Aston Martin DBS? No, 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 no. No, no, no. You want, you want, you want... There we go. Uh, yeah, there we go. Now that see, that's not the DBS. That's an Aston Martin I can get behind. Five forty I. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, more of a. I'm more of a. This yeah. See, see, 
yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I like, that's a cool car, that's why I want the old Bentley, that's a car that will turn heads, um, not an M1, no, what the hell are you gonna do with an M1 other than keep it in a garage all day, and then get shunned if you don't, screw that, All right, we ready to crawl out through the fallout, baby. Now, guys, keep in mind, NSF Live is pushed forward. At 4.30, I'm going to stop, not stop the stream, but I'm going to switch us over to NSF Live, and we will, we've moved NSF Live two hours earlier. We're going live at 5. I can't wait to see you for the Gemini Croquet Contest. to be there for you live at 5. The new eight series is like that. Yep, yep. Schedule has moved to the left. Yeah, yeah, yep. Those older V12 cars are still 90K. Yeah. Even that even that 850i. Uh yeah, that's out of my price range. I'll just I'll just take my crappy pickup trucks. V12 Vantage is awesome. Small car with a huge engine. Marco, that's a real that's a real touring car, man. That's those are the kind of cars that I like. Like, if I was gonna buy a Ferrari here. If I was going to buy a Ferrari, this is what I'd get right here. 575. Just That's a car. Oh, like a Mike Lowry. That's a nice car. On a cage, an Arga Blue. Arga Blue with a 52, on a cage out of 35. Go at throttle up. Can we please turn the Coronet and do a no BS touring car? The Coronet, I want. Yeah. Not necessarily like a no BS touring car, but I want the Coronet to basically have all the good stuff from modern cars, but not like, you know, we want like electronic fuel injection. Like, obviously, if we if I can, I have a line on that Hemi, right? If we get that Hemi, right? Put that in there. You know, you put AC in it. Give it, you know, take. Give it a nice, uh, you know, automatic transmission. You know, a car that you could just take up on the highway, cruise at 70, all the way to California. No problems, no wheels falling off, you know what I mean? Not, yeah, resto modding, but... People, I, I think, you can resto mod something, but, you know, like, I think people go too crazy with it. And they go, they go too crazy. Like, you know, they put like 20 inch rims on a muscle car. I think 20 inch rims look ridiculous on any old muscle car. They look stupid. It looks ridiculous. It's useless. It, that, that's not what the car was engineered for. I'm talking about a car that looks, looks old school. It looks, it looks just on the outside. You wouldn't know, but on the inside, it's a modern car. That type of resto modding here. I'll show you. There's a YouTube channel called <laughs> called Fuel Injection Sucks. Uh, I don't watch this guy very often, but but here. Here yet again is another one of Corey's projects. This one's already done, as of a few years already. Look at what's behind it. Uh, was it 68? 69. Oh, so 69 Coronet. Uh, interesting thing is, it has... That's not the stock motor. That's what I'm talking about. But see how this car looks? See how it looks on the outside? Discovery, go at throttle up. That don't look like a big block from the 60s. Nope. It's, uh, yeah. It's a blown Hellcat, blown uh, turboed Hellcat motor. I don't think, I don't need to turbo mine, but that's what I mean. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Like if you looked at this car from the outside, just looks like any other car. It just looks like any, just a regular plain Jane car from the sixties, but that doesn't mean it's not hooked up. You know what I mean? Like right here. See, so look at it from the outside. Looks regular, it has 14 inch rim. You know, radial tires, you're not going to go bananas with it. But see, that's... So I my Coronet looks exactly like that, but it's blue. 
That's what I'm talking about. It's not necessarily a sleeper either. Like I'm not, I don't need 800 horsepower on the street. That's dumb. Well, I don't know why you'd do that. All you're doing is just, you might as well put dollar bills in your gas tank at that point, but basically you want to drive a Q ship, something like that. But yeah, you don't, dude, 400 is fine. In a car like that, 400 horsepower is good enough for the street, dude. 400 horsepower, 400 foot-pounds. You're good to go. Need to buy a K car? I like K cars. Oh, yeah, Jim. Yeah, mm -hmm. Yeah, torque for the street, Enriquez. Yeah, you got it. Problem now becomes how do you put down a thousand horsepower with tires in a chassis that came with 280 horsepower? That's what I mean. I don't. I don't need a thousand horsepower in a car like that. 500 horsepower is good, because you're not gonna, you could still afford to run like regular wheels and tires. Maybe, you know, I got maybe wider tire, but I still don't need like a 20 inch freaking rim. I think once again, 20 inch rims look stupid on old cars. What about a McLaren F1? Cool car, Jens, I respect it. I would never buy one. I mean, plus, you could put a bigger tire in back of that thing, and it's not really that big of a deal. But anyway, yeah, that's the that's what I want to do with the Coronet. And if I can, I have a line on that Hemi, uh, and my neighbor is, just until he finds another truck, he wants to sell me his old Dodge Ram, and it has pretty much that same motor in it. Um, so... Yeah, that's what I that's what I would like to uh roll in. I think that'd be cool. Uh it'd be cool doing the swap on stream. Um Original M3 in red. Yeah, there you go. And I just want to make a car that you could do a Route 154 in and it would be just as comfortable as driving a regular car from the 2000s or even a modern car. Like they, once again, that the, my Coronet is on the same chassis as the Charger. So all of the Charger parts can bolt to it with exception to some pieces, all the mechanical parts, the running gear is fine. There's plenty of aftermarket for it. So we could, you know, we can make it nice, you know, you make it handle for the road, but I want a car that's going to get decent fuel mileage going 70, 80 miles an hour down the highway all day. That's what I want to do with the Coronet. I thought I, I wanted, I thought. Tracking it would be cool, but I don't want to do that. I want to make it nice. Yeah, pro touring, pro touring, grand touring cars are what I would want to do with that. I want it, you know, down the road, you know, Primo and I get to that point, dude. You know, with kids, the, the, this is the kind of car you can put the kids in the back seat. You don't have to worry about it not being safe. It has, you know, modern enough safety features, right? And... You know, it's a car that you can get in and road trip with. That's what I want to make that car into. Basically, a modern incarnation of what a, a regular four-door family car would be <laughs> nowadays. Sean! 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 <laughs> exactly. That's what I want. That's why. That's the other reason why I don't want a lot of horsepower with that particular car. But, yeah, that's the idea. Anyway, we were trying to work with Logic Gates here uh, to, for, for automation. That's what the big project was. I think I'm just going to go on a loot run here. Um, I'm going to go on a loot run here because I have to start up. We have to do NSF Live because we pushed it forward. We have to do it in... Uh, oh, what did I just grab by accident? Um, yeah, we'll go on a loot run and get more materials because I, I don't, I don't want to dive into the logic and have to go to NSF and be like in the middle of something. So I hope we get to see Das. I'm not sure if Das is going to be there today. We'll, we'll see. Model S Plaid is a four door family car and an unbelievable animal all wrapped up in one package. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool.
Metric, you passed your PPL check ride today and wanted to say thank you. You've been a huge source of inspiration during the process. Dude! That's awesome, man! Yes! That's so good, man. Congratulations! It's freaking sweet. You gotta fly me around sometime. That's the rule. That's awesome. Round of applause for Metric. Now you're buying us all drinks, right? Right? It's Friday. Huh? Where are you going? Hey, come back. Where are you going? Alright. Now we gonna mess things up. But yeah, we'll work on the cornet stuff when I, uh, May. In May and June, guys, automotive streams are going to be coming back in a pretty big way. So we're going to be doing games, space news, and I'm going to be working out in the garage a lot more now. It's, I have to clean it. It's a mess in there. And I have to finish the exhaust on this thing, but whatever. It's fine. I got the welder up and running, so. Maybe even some welding streams in the future. But yeah, we're... We're going ham on it. When's my knock Oh boy, I don't know. Right. Just gonna upgrade some of the guns before we go out again. Sharpshooter's grip. Large quick ejection magazine. Did you stay up trying to count in binary? Oh, jeez. Uh, oh, jeez, Rick. Uh, I don't know. We'll we're really gonna tackle the logic and stuff and getting this getting this stuff figured out uh, on the other side of NSF Live. Uh, but yeah. Um, yeah, it doesn't. We really should pick up where we left off. I don't know, should I did I do a loot run or should we figure this out? But NSF goes until 11 p.m. when you quit. NSF Live is starting at 5 and not 7 o'clock, so we should be finishing right around 7, 8 o'clock. Yeah, I'm, we moved NSF Live early. They... We had a meeting yesterday. That meeting that made me late yesterday was a huge production meeting for NSF Live and where we want to go with it. And we decided to move it to five o'clock because the biggest feedback that we've gotten was uh, go to was European viewers can't watch NSF Live because it's quite literally in the middle of the night. We're testing it out, drummer. So I don't know. Yeah, in the future. Yeah. I find seeing binary counting action makes it more intuitive.
Hey, AP. Okay. Oh, wow. So... Oh. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, we could make a we could make a binary counter. Yeah, you we should be able to do it with the logic gates, especially if Tessa, what you said with the X with the Zor gates, that should work. I don't see why it wouldn't. Anyway, all right, what's wrong with our guy? Resist fatigue and lethargy. All right, cool. All right, we got to get Codsworth too. And this is all Ooh. hunting rifle short barrel. Oh, those are mods. Uh, got to get all this stuff. Yeah, I know. Yeah, drummer, we don't need a full 32 bit Unix timestamp. We're only going to be storing. I mean, we could hard code our factory to produce stuff in 64 number batches if we really wanted to. Like, you can put anything in there. You can make any production amount up until 64. I mean, this is stuff that we're going to have to figure out because, you know, like, for instance, what does, if I wanted to make a full suit, if I wanted to make a full suit of power armor, right? If we wanted to do that, how much, you know, how much aluminum are we going to need? If we need more than 64 pieces of aluminum to make an entire power armor set, then we might have some problems. We have to go... 64 would be a six counter. I think seven, seven, seven bit or eight bit, maybe eight bit. Uh, you know what? It'd probably be better to go eight bit. Eight bit would be good. I'd like to trade some items. Of course. May I accompany you, sir? So if we had an 8-bit counter and an 8-bit logic system, please do. Then I think we would it would solve any problem, any potential problems that we could have. I mean, dude, we're going to need a computer room. And I think that's really funny because that's what the Fallout universe is about. Right? Like Fallout universe, you have compact nuclear power, but Electronic systems are still big and bulky. Like an automated factory is going to need a gigantic room for computing functions, which I think is hilarious. I think that's really funny. And I, I think it's actually super freaking cool. I think it's super cool with the Contraptions DLC that it kind of it kind of works with, that kind of feeds into, you know, how, um, it kind of feeds into the Fallout universe. I think that's just super, super cool. All right, where are we heading? We're we're gonna continue on our voyages south. We'll go to Oberland. Uh, also, we need to go to the Weston to the Weston water treatment plant to help those robots. Uh, so I think, yeah, we could do that first. Yeah, the peak tech in 2077 was a wrist-mounted Commodore 64. I mean, it's still pretty damn impressive. Uh, like, a Pip-Boy would be crazy by modern standards. I mean, it's basically a smartphone. We're gonna play Old World Blues, the Hearts of Iron 4 mod? Oh. Uh -huh. That would actually be kind of cool. I don't know. I didn't have any plans on doing that, though. Yeah. Yeah, flanking. Yep, yep. Yeah. Hey, 
Greg. What's going on, man? Yeah, Weston means we're gonna have to be fighting some freaking Meyer lurks. I'm not sure I have the guns to do that, but we'll uh, figure that one out when we get there. Just a shopping cart full of stuff. Same old, same old, Greg. Right on. Good pickings. Yeah, a little bit, Cotsworth. Hey, Cotsworth. Yeah, so we'll... How cool would it be getting to making some computing? We're, I mean, we don't want it. We don't need to make like a full freaking calculator, right? It just needs to be able to count inventory. Right? Oh, I just thought of something really cool. Discovery, go and throttle up. Jojo be gifted a sub to Econ Greg. The congregation. What's all Always three there are. No more. No less. Sure, Elfish. Uh, yeah, I just thought of an interesting idea. The idea that I thought of was, uh... Mr. Dick, wasteland bugging you? Ha-ha! <laughs> A little human to lighten the spirits in any time, sir. Moving on. Um, I know that's there. We have to, I have to get it on the way back or that Raj tag though. Ah, yeah. Yeah, no, my character's name is Dick Kickham. Before you forget, spit it out. Um... Uh, we could have... I mean, this is a way added complexity, but we could have counters and a centralized control room that tell us how much of each resource we have in each hopper. So, input counter, output counter, right? The output counter will go against uh, your production rate, and the input counter is would just be a straight counter. So I'm picturing a room where you have thir like you have 30 rows of like three sets of counters, right? And they'll count how much is in there. Can the counters count down? Yeah. No, I don't think they. Can. Uh. We could also have weekly audits and fire personnel for product deltas. Uh, I don't want to do that. No, no, no. I'm
raid, then let's make a deal. Supervisor Green. At Grey Garden, the price is always right. Shall we make a deal? Sounds good. Not sure where that came from. around here. Let's go to Oberlin Station, take a nap there. We didn't have the money to do it, Tessa. He doesn't have the money on it. I didn't need any of that other stuff. In fact, trading it for concrete was kind of... Wrong side, not for Oberlin Station. I know it's over there. Bongo, bongo, bongo. I like to play the bongos. Oh, no, no. That's. Let's go kill the raiders first. We're gonna fall out of Charles River. I was actually just here. The spot that I'm standing uh, is right here is where the highway, where the Charles River bends around. I mean, technically Harvard is like right here, Avid, and then 
Memorial Drive is right there, and then Stero Drive is right here. But yeah, the Stero and Memorial are not in this game. The highway should be right here, and there should be train tracks here too. But artistic license or something. What the hell is that? Possible Rip Astra again? What happened? Codsworth, they're not shooting at us. Oh. Well. That's a flamethrower. Robert. Hey. Can I be? Yes. We found one. Yes. Hey. Mr. Dick. <laughs> you could give Cosworth the bowler hat. <laughs> Mr. Dick. Double tap. It's the only way to be sure. We gotta make our way over to Hangman's Alley. I found it first. Have it your way. Where are you going? Where are you going? Godworth, kill him. Thank you. Good robot. You're a good robot, my friend. Hello, look at you and your very special hat. Uh, Pigeon will, uh, I'm gonna go on a little bit of a loot run here. Oh, nice. No, but that looks good. Um, I'm going on a little bit of a loot run here. Uh, trying to set up shop in the city here. Uh, and then we'll, we'll get back to the counter. The reason why is because NSF Live moved forward. Um, yeah, we moved NSF from 7 p.m. to 5. So at 4.30, I am going to, the stream will go to the, to the title card. And uh, yeah, we'll start up at 5 instead. Oh, nice. That's good, Nova. Nice. That's cool. You are heckish from the lack of food. I am now properly hydrated. You did a thing almost zero space launches do. What do you mean? Hello. Keep your eyes open. Think this asshole's using the first mistake? Last mistake. Huh? You call this 
Side by side is money. Look at all this stuff we can loot. Told you I'm gonna clean up the streets. I'm trying to find a bed, Tessa. Sweeper, 2287. That's me. Have you bought anything from Fleeter lately to end of the truck giveaway? No, 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 I haven't. Alright, let's, uh... That truck is really cool, though. I like it. We gotta clean up the streets. You just wait and see, chat. And I'm gonna clean up this town. sound of that. Discovery, go and throttle up. This place is a lot nicer. Oh, we gotta hang on. all of the streets that we can clean up. 
See, look, isn't this nice? Yeah, we we did we did scrap the body. That actually worked. Shoot some hoop. I don't want to play this game anymore. Where's the edge? Oh. The edge of this is right here. Nuclear, almost done with school, so close. Dude, you got this. You know, nuclear, I... Back in the day, dude, I told... You know how I always told everybody to go to school and stuff? And, like... You know, I always said, dude, back in the day, like... That's... You know... My job, I'll consider my job complete when I don't have any view count because everybody's in school studying. And this, I'll admit, dude, this spring we came pretty damn close. But I've been keeping track and talking to a lot of you guys. A lot of you guys are like, yeah, I haven't been here because I've been studying. And I'm like, good. Good. Please check out this mod for the 10 millimeter pistol. Video from onboard the F-22 that, okay. Oh, the cyberpunk, that's cool, chief, neat. Dude, that shot, though. That's cool. George, speaking of one step closer to my pilot's license, got my complex endorsement a couple weeks ago. Good, man. Good. Good. That's cool. Good enough. 
RJ, very important news. You are currently eating fried chicken. All right. Hell yeah. Good for you. All right, we gotta... I wanna close this thing off. At least as best as I can. There we go. Is it hitting up top? No, I think it I think it kind of works around uh Yeah. I'm not actually sure what how that works, Jim, to be honest with you. But yeah, either way. Oh. Can I get rid of that? I don't need these people. Everybody thinking I'm a, I'm the crazy one, man. Crazy one. Tess, I think there's static objects. So I'm just making this basically a place, to, a nice place to stay. Crap, everything is not playing nice with us here. Yeah, scrap everything ain't playing nice with us, dudes.
Hang on, maybe if I got rid of the floor. I'm wondering, can we take like, do we have metal floors? We have walls, roofs. No. Those don't jive, huh? They don't, none of it. Oh, floors will lock into floors though. Okay. All right, so give me a wall. Right? The reason why I'm taking the time to upgrade this is because uh, we're, it lets you make that one that's inside of the building. That stupid post is in the way. Is because this is gonna be my kind of way inside of the Commonwealth. Uh, I foresee a lot of looting runs here in the future. We'll use Hangman's Alley as our, as our outpost in the Commonwealth. Next to, and we're right near the great, the great green jewel of uh, the Commonwealth. You know, Diamond City Radio. It's gonna be our fob. Sure. Yeah, that'll work. Why isn't it letting us hook that up? Must need more cowbell. I got a got a fever. Guess what?
how, why, what, how does it let me, you know what, never mind. Just, just nod and smile, chat. Just nod and smile. There we go. Nice. I think the barn stuff is all wood. Do we have a half wall? Uh. Whatever, that's fine. You and your building, yeah, I know. do is explore the wasteland and all you want to do is build stuff. Yeah, we're out of resources. Okay, that's good enough. What's left? Yeah, we got a good amount of stuff. Decent enough haul. Uh, let me put the rest of this in here. This will be our base of operations for a little while. 38 can go in there. The fusion cells can go in there. Low-sided hunting rifle, good. Nice rifle. Mine's better. Mine's better. That one's better. Okay. I'm gonna go take a pee pee. I'll be right back. Well, I'm just watch while I'm sleeping. Don't watch me while I sleep though. That's weird.
All right. Ah, oh, God. Wake, just waking up. Oh yes, you did. You like you? No, you like the Phantom Menace. That one's better. See last for some awesome views. Oh man, this is awesome. Is it the F-22? Yep. Yeah, I've seen that, dude. It's, uh, pretty cool. All right. Cool. When bed stream, not you in it, just the live stream of my bed. I. No, I'm. No, I'm, no, I'm good. No, Tessa, I'm fine. Truck bed? I already have a view. We already have views of the truck beds. There's a live view of a bed. Not the bed that I sleep in. But you could. You could. Yeah, this is a uh, work as our forward base of operations. There's Diamond City. So, for Oberlin Station, we have to go to Backstreet Apparel and kill everyone. Red base. Kill everybody. Get flag back. Oh, the Institute. Cool. SS stuck in a bridge. Coffee pot. Oh, there's Sturro. They did, Sturro Drive is in this. That's Sturro, yeah, that's Sturro Drive down there. At least it's supposed to be. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. I'm sure in 1985, plutonium is available in every corner drugstore. But in 1955, it's a little hard to come by. Marty, I'm afraid you're stuck here. I got a life in 1950, in 1985. I got a girl, is she pretty? Hello? What's up here? Some scaffolding. Skellington is too heavy to carry for some reason. Yay! Yes, you did. That one's better. I don't see any box trucks stuck under the bridges. Are you sure? They shouldn't take yeah, off. hammer down. Let me see. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, it can't be sterile. No box trucks. On your now. Man, that sucks.
Ah, yes, that's his eyeball. Now we have missiles flying everywhere. Russia's like, ah, motherland! And then England's like, about that time, sir. About that time, eh, chaps? Right out. Thank that is a sweet earth. Hiding the good old days, sir. Precisely, Codsworth. But now it's your eyeball. Nah, I don't. Nah, it's fine. It can, it can stay there. Discovery, go at throttle up. Godzar! That's a 41 month resub. What the hell was that? You missed. Clothes hangers. We can recycle for metal to build factory. Chill be. Oh yes. It's a beautiful, beautiful loungewear here, of course. Was. Yes. Precisely. Hey Kane, what's going on, man? Where that little fucker go? Hey, th your language is offensive. Code hanger, code hanger, code hanger, go to Kennedy, 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 Kennedy. Ah oh, crap. Man. Love that robot. You're sorry, ass. Watch my back. That's why I'm trying to keep you alive, too. Yeah. Oh, eh, oh, hey, hey. Click. No, 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 back a little bit. Mr. Dick kick him. Hey, Notes. What's up, buddy? Good to see you again. Ooh, a stealth boy. See that? Metal bucket. Oh, yeah. Anything, anything good in here? I have a joke for you. What is a skeleton's favorite snack? Ribs? No! Why must you fail me so often? Will you stop swearing? I'm trying to run a family-friendly stream here. This is bullshit. You... All right, guys, we need to. They need to be taught a lesson for swearing so much. Writer, all right, bottle cap. No way I could pick this. 
When you turn up, you're... Ooh, a combat shotgun. Hold on a second here. Hold on a second there, Professor. Combat rifle, combat shotgun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, bud. Do we have 45 for it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, give me, uh... Give me this combat rifle, put that in slot four. And then take the combat shotgun and put that in slot two. Dead. The side-by-side -side has done us some good work, but this will do us some even, even more good work. Hold's left. Heads up. I'm all in. Here's what I have. Oh, nice shotgun you got there, bud. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Where'd that nuke go that we had? Oh, I must have given it to Codsworth. Coming with me. I'll get you out of here. Sure as hell looks Did you hear that? You left the nuke in the alleyway? Oh, alright. Well that's good. I must have a key touch. Fucking seeing things. That was three shots. Whatever. Whatever. Fine. What's all this? Nothing like a little dust up to get the oil. Oh, nice. Wine in a bucket. Excuse me. Impact, last radius, canned dog food, some caps, more dog food, another bucket, a lamp, a baby bob, question? Beer. There we go. Gonad the Barbarian, all right. Critical hits, hits, critical hits while unarmed in melee attacks permanently do 5% more damage. Lock tight. Oh yeah, there's also that other safe down downstairs that we gotta get at. Toaster, fork in the toaster, nice, good way to go, I guess. Package of duct tape. Sweet junk. I'm gonna scrap all this and use it to make a Mondo factory of epic proportions. Anyone know the lore as to why Fat Man's exist? Why such a small nuke? Fat Man's are based off of the Davy Crockett. I didn't spell Crockett right. The Fat Man's based off of that. Yes, this was a thing. Yes, the army considered it. No, they didn't do it. You'd kill the people that fired it. Just in case you were wondering. That is a recoilless cannon shooting a nuke off as a rifle, basically as a rifle propelled grenade. Yep. They did not use these very long. See? It's a recoilless cannon 
with a nuke on the end. Yep. Ah, oh, that poor Sherman. The Davy Crockett was deployed with the U.S. Army forces from 61 to 71. Oh, oh dear. What? Yeah, that... Oh, you can mount it on the back of a Jeep. Oh, even better. That's... That's... Probably... Probably not. Agrees has two likeness. Got it. Yeah, backpack nukes. Yep. That's what the fat man is. Uh... Yeah, that's what it's supposed to be, guys. Believe it or not, that's not a Fallout concept. That was a real thing. Apparently, he was operational too, which is just... Okay. Mounted on the back of a Hilux. Yeah, um... It would most likely irradiate the crew that fired it. Like, the, the blast radius of the of the nuke that it fired was bigger than the, the range of the rifle. So that... 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 You know, I'm sure that's fine. Seems like a good way to stop a commie push, though. I mean, an A-10 could do the same thing Got it. with, you know, I was going to say minus the radiation, but you know what? I uh, retract my previous statement. Some of you may die, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. I know that the kill bots just had, you know, had a kill limit, so I just kept sending waves of men. You might, some of you might die, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Just crawl out through the fallout, baby. Yep. Well, this is nice. Ah, bear. Some frags. Good. All right. Oh yeah, these are supposed to be the brownstones. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I didn't spend a lot of time in the city. Uh. I don't, well, at least I don't remember spending a lot of time in the city. Maybe. Hello. Oh, blow sided tune hunting rifle. The hell's that supposed to be? supposed to be a tunnel yeah no I <laughs> I got the memo
We got a stealth boy. Cool. All right. Cool. What time is it? 348. All right. We got a little bit of time here. How about we start mingling with this short combat rifle and make it not a short combat rifle anymore? Uh, you need gun nut 4 to rechamber it in 308. It's using 45? What round of 40 in 45 caliber is that long? The only one I can think of is 4570 government government oh. Hmm Oh look, we can level up. Guess what? <laughs> Gun nut! Where's that gun nut perk? Oh, requirements not met. You gotta be level 25. Balls. It's not 4570, that's the lever action from Fahaba. Hmm. Completely, un completely unrelated question. Do helicopter pitch links only carry the loads necessary to change the blade's angle of attack, or do they carry some of the lifting force too? I would assume all the lifted forces is carried by the shaft. Shaft. Lava. Shaft. Yeah, maybe some, but most of that is used to hold the blade in place. Did you see how near complete garbage the helicopter cleater bot was? I actually haven't gotten around to see that yet, Hellfish. I haven't had much time to watch any YouTube this week. Like any TV, dude. I've been just going 7, 8 a.m. in the morning all the way to the end of the stream and either having a meeting or going to bed. It's been, uh, it's been a crazy freaking week. I'm just trying to get... A lot of, there's a lot of time sensitive stuff that needed to get done before we go away for a little while. Heads up. Yes, hey, sir. Codsworth. There you go. Cool question. You're a turboprop mechanic. Oh, right on. Hold on one second. Um, guys, I got to here we go. Yeah, see? Fucking here we go again. Um, I got to take a break real quick. I'll be back in a moment, all right? Save and close out. You'll be switching to NSF soon anyway. That's right. Yeah. All right. 
Guys, I'm gonna put you on the title screen here for a second. Or put you on the title card. Yeah, I gotta save and yeah, save and close out. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we'll pick up Fallout on the other side of NSF Live. I will be back in a little bit. Uh, uh, I, yeah, I. If this isn't anything crazy, I just yeah, I'll be back in a little bit. Um, anyway, I'm gonna switch it. I'm gonna switch us uh, out of the Fallout category, um, and I'll put us in the science and technology. No problem. I hope everything's okay. Yeah, yeah, it should be, but uh, I will be right back. And because we're switching over to the NSF Live, I'm going to spool down the YouTube stream for now because I don't want to broadcast NSF Live while NSF Live is broadcasting on YouTube at the same time. So on the YouTube end of things, I'll see you after NSF Live. On the Twitch end of things, yeah, it's just going to be a second. I got to get something done. Um, so yeah, more Fallout will commence around 7, 8 o'clock tonight. Uh, in about three hours. So I'll see you then. Uh, I'll be back in a little bit. Thank you.